guys and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So today what we're going to be working on is trying to find as many of those creatures as possible. I know that we scanned some of them last episode so we'll see if we can't find some more. It looks like there's one right over there so we'll go check that out. There's also a uh, pirate guy which is just taking off so <laughs> you can never get to them in time either so. I don't really bother with them, plus their trades aren't that really great, so... Okay, so we scanned that. Uh, we haven't scanned these guys. Let's try that again. Okay, and we haven't scanned that. So we have 6 of 11. We still have some more that we need to scan. Okay, we got that one. Okay, yeah, there is a structure a little bit further on this way, so I think we'll try to find that. Let's uh, just quickly see if there's any rear underground ones. Rear flying, rear, rear ground. Yeah, there is uncommon, underground, always active, and rear underground, always active. So, let's see if we can't find a cave or something. Actually... I thought I saw something on the radar around here. Oh, there was that crashed freighter that we need, still need to explore as well. Uh, we'll see if we can explore that, but pretty sure there was a cave roughly in this area that we could maybe find one of those rare creatures. We'll see. Um, maybe over here towards the crashed freighter. We'll see if there's one like that over here. Yeah, there might be. Oh, there is something here. And what's that? Okay, did we get the rare ones? Rare underground and uncommon underground. So we got both of them. Perfect. Okay, so let's just scan those things quickly. There's another creature over there that I just saw try to get as many of them as possible. Okay, so right up here. Okay, we haven't got that one. There's another one over there. A little bit further away. Ooh, that's a big one. Perfect. Alright, so we have 11-11. Perfect. Alright, so let's go to that crashed freighter. And we'll see if we can't, um...
Alright, so I just raided a uh, Sentinel Depot, so we could get a little bit more resources that we didn't have already. Uh, we got some stuff. Let's see here, we got some of this. We got 10 more of those. Actually, I can't remember what those are used for, but I know that they're econ economy stuff. And got four of those. I know those are really important for crafting, so that's good. And what else do we get? We got one more of those. Not sure if I couldn't just fit that into the inventory or not. Uh, what else? We got some of this. Not a whole lot of it, but uh, we have a farm for that anyway, so that's fine. Um, some platinum. And I think we had everything else before, so just some other stuff from the Sentinels. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with that planet. Uh, let's go ahead and I think there is another one. Uh, let's just quickly go to the uh, screen. There's two more planets that we still have to discover in the system. Uh, one is kind of like a blue-red, the other one is like a red-gray, so... Red gray one's probably like a um, hot planet of some sort. Now, um, it's a little bit hard to see where all the um, planets are. I think there's one right there. Undiscovered. Uh, gamma. So let's quickly go to that one. That must be the red blue planet. I think that would be, yeah, that one right there. So that's most likely that one. And it looks like it might have water on it. Yeah, most likely. So you can kind of guarantee there's going to be sea creatures in this one. So we'll kind of go to the near the shoreline and hopefully we'll be able to get um, close enough for the ocean when we need to go there. Kind of dock somewhere around here in the inland so we can kind of find all the creatures and stuff. There might be some specific to areas which is fine. Okay, let's uh, see what we're dealing with. There is a settlement we can park our ship at, so...
So I couldn't find the rare creatures. I've searched a few caves and they're not just showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave this planet alone um, because the rare ones, there's two rare. Oh, one uncommon, one rare. So chances of me finding the rare one is like really unlikely. And we only would have gotten like 3,000 nanites. Some of the other ones are better. Uh, speaking of which we did collect that 11 so we could collect that 2000 and uh, we can just upload all our data and get a little bit more so all right so we have one planet left and then we'll get to the space station and see if we can't get some more trade items but we need to know where this planet is before we go there so Somewhere around the system, we just need to figure out what part it's at. So a lot of the planets are generally this direction. Okay, that's the one right there. So what are we looking at? Aggressive Sentinels. So we won't be there that long. Um, actually, <clears throat> I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to the space station. We'll use our probe to unlock that planet. I know that we won't get any of the things, but we'll probably not be down there for that long anyways. So, yeah. We'll just go and probe the planet, and then we can see if we can't get any trade materials and stuff. It actually worked out pretty well that we discovered that one last, because it's um, aggressive, right? So, It is disorienting with these rings, though, because you don't really see the planets until you're on the other side of it. But head on over to the space station. Actually, we're look like we're heading towards our shuttle, so we'll go to the space station first, and then we'll get the trade items. There should be some by now, and then we'll see if we can't find a new system after we probe the planet, of course. So I'm gonna see if I can't get uh, some of this stuff organized too. Got quite a bit of stuff that we put away. Alright, so we have that. This we can sell. Um, that we can put away. Use it for building later on. That we can put in here. We'll refine some more of that up later on. That, um... We have a tab for that somewhere in our inventory.
Okay, so I ended up probing that last planet. Uh, I had to go up to the third floor. I might actually bring that probing thing down to here. I'm putting it right in this area just so it's a little bit easier to get to. I know the trading terminal is pretty easy. And I want to fix up these um, teleporter cores. Uh, maybe we can move them in a spot that is kind of out of the way. Um, maybe bring them into the room or something like that and put them right over here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm still debating it. I've been debating it for a while, but um, we might be able to figure out something a little bit neater than just doing that. We have that whole wall right up here that we could probably utilize. And we also have that space right there that would probably work pretty well. Uh, we could also use um, teleporters somehow to get to locations so maybe if we go to the back rooms over here we might be able to set up something on individual floors or something like that if we wanted to get to a specific person or refinery or something we could probably go to because there's all this room over here and this is like the science terminal so we might be able to move the science terminal up to where the other place was and Put in a teleporter room or something like that here just so it's centralized so there's there's a few different options we have but um yeah outside that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you next time thanks for watching peace out